Hey everyone, my name is Cold Space, and these are my pros and cons of owning a Marvel vs. Capcom 1UP Arcade. There's nothing more iconic in the world of fighting games than the entire Versus series. Our favorite characters facing off in a fast-paced flash of flying fists and laser beams that'll make any nerd's hands sweat while you're waiting in line to get your ass beat with a couple quarters in your hands. I've spent dozens of quarters I stole from my sister's piggy bank playing Marvel vs. Capcom. I always dreamed of having a real arcade cabinet in my room, but they're extremely pricey and way too bulky to put in a normal size room. Since this is my first 1UP arcade, I wanted to give my honest opinion without gushing over how cool it is. And yes, this is one of the coolest things I never thought I needed until right now. First. The artwork is awesome, the marquee is well lit, and it's really easy to set up. It's really light and easy to move around even by yourself, and the compact size makes it easy to store in anyone's house. The biggest problem for me, however, is how insanely short the cabinet is. I'm 5'11", and it's extremely uncomfortable looking down and hunching over to play. The stool that came with the cab is also pretty tall, and I have to slouch and just sit super uncomfortable just to look at the screen and it's really annoying. I did solve this problem myself by buying six inch table legs off of Amazon that I later drilled into the riser. Now it stands at perfect height to either sit or stand while playing. Since I have tile, the cab was really wobbly and the legs also eliminated that problem as well. The screen resolution is perfect despite how my camera makes it look. I do wish the screen was a little bit bigger, but it doesn't feel small at all. The borders on the side make the screen seem smaller, but I really wish they made the character inputs big enough to read without squinting since they had so much space to work with. One small problem I'm having with the cabinet is the speakers. It's not that they're not loud enough, they just click anytime I boot up the system or pause the game. It's not a huge deal, but it shouldn't be clicking. I might end up changing the speakers if I can find the easy fix. Let me know in the comments if you guys have a similar issue or if it's just me. Something that's really annoying is the fact that even if you put your volume at zero, when you boot up your system, it always makes a little intro sound and it's pretty loud, so just beware. Something that caught me by surprise was the LED cover. It's a welcome addition and a feature that really makes the cabinet feel a little more customized right out of the box. Unfortunately, the quality of the cover isn't the best and it somewhat ruins the illusion. I didn't even realize I still had the plastic wrapping on the cover until I started filming and I was really excited to take it off and see the glossy plastic, but I found a fair amount of scratches and blemishes that ruined the reveal. I was really careful assembling the cab, so I can only assume this happened during transit. The joystick and buttons are responsive, but not the best. Compared to my fight stick, it's pretty horrible, and I'm going to be replacing both the stick and the buttons, and I'm probably also going to put a 8-way restrictor gate just to make the directional inputs a bit smoother. The ball top that comes with a 1-up arcade is pretty annoying. If you're not on top of it, it's going to fall off while you're playing and fuck up your shit, especially if you're on an online match, so just stay on top of it, and I honestly can't wait to replace it. Speaking of online, the matchmaking could use some small adjustments. The way you start a match can be awkward when you make a room by yourself. The game throws you into arcade mode and you don't really know when someone joins the room. So you could be mid combo and someone presses start and as soon as they press start, it'll throw you into the character select screen. And if you're in mid combo, you're pressing buttons, you're moving the stick, you're gonna pick some random character and you're stuck with that person until you lose. So I think a small audio scream or something to let you know, hey, someone's in the room, they might press start soon would be really helpful. And I know a lot of people run into this problem. You can easily delete your online record and start over with a clean record. Most people might like this feature, but I think it's a little cheap. I don't know, I guess I'm just a purist or something. But win or lose streaks really don't mean anything if you still get your ass beat. So I guess that kind of evens it out, but I still think it's really corny as fuck. With all that said, I really do love my cabinet. The fact that you could just fire this thing up anytime I want and just throw down with anyone that's online makes it worth every penny. I really wish the sticks and buttons were sand walls right out of the box, but honestly, 
I think upgrading the cabinet is part of the fun of owning your own cabinet. It's yours. You can set it up the way you want and do whatever you think is cool. You don't have to do what other people are doing. Just it's for you. And I think that's the coolest part of this thing. Like how many of us have dreamed of owning one of these things and just having it in our room, but we can't because of the inconvenience of the price or how big it is or where you're going to put it. Now it's easily affordable. And I think this is one of the coolest things I have ever bought myself. That pretty much sums it up for me, man. My name is Cold Space. Thanks for watching.